Hello and welcome to this vSuite version 0.4 video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to cover how to do a sun path analysis with the vSuite. So I've installed or I've uh, loaded up some 3D geometry here which happens to be the buildings around the main University of Brighton building in the Brighton UK and I have down here in my node editor just my VI location node which if you've watched the first introductory video then you should know how to create this initial and very important location node so um, and you should have also created a node tree for our nodes to sit in so for a sun path analysis I can just go to add analysis nodes vSuite sun path you can see this sun path is red, uh, sorry, the node is red. And when a node is red, it means it's not ready. There's something wrong. It either doesn't have the correct node connection or uh, one of the settings within a node has changed. So to make it turn the default theme color, I need to first connect my location node into this node. And we now get this create sun path button here. And if I press that, then we should now see that a sun path has been created within the scene. Now some of these options are on from before so I'll turn these off. Once a sun path has been created within the vSuite display tab in the 3D view properties panel I've got some options and those options are day, time of day, display hours and display time. So if I change day of year, for example, you can see we've got a sun object here. And that sun object will respond in terms of its position to the day of the year and the time of the day settings that I have set within this vSuite display tab. Um, one new kind of feature of version 0 0.4 is that whenever we set a day uh, within the year which is 1 to 365 we now get an actual Gregorian calendar date so we can see uh, for example this is um, 4th of April etc so we get live real-time manipulation of the Sun based on these two metrics um, we can also turn on display hours as each of these figure of eight rings corresponds to an hour in the day we can plot out on the 3d view uh, those times for each of those hourly rings uh, and we can also display um, the date, the time and the altitude and the azimuth of the Sun for whatever time and whatever day we choose and that is another new feature in version 0 0.4 um, and we have some options here to change the color of the font that we draw for those hour numbers and our sun characteristics we can turn on font shadow and we can change the color of the font shadow if we want so that's the basics of creating a, a sun path but because this sun path is just a regular object a regular 3d object within blender we can scale it down we can move it Can position it where we like. What's new in version 0 0.4 as well is that we can rotate the sun path if we wish. In general positive Y where the green arrow is pointing is north and that's the same throughout all the elements of the V-suite but we can if we want now rotate this in case our building is not on that alignment axis. Um, as an object 
within the Blender scene we can go to the material tab for example and we can change some of the colors associated with the sun path so we can change our for example we can change the color of the uh, sort of year rings going around we can change the color of the hour rings if we want um, so we have some flexibility about how we kind of display and because I've got a white background at the moment I might change that base color to black so we can see it so we've got some flexibility about the font display and the sun path display itself as you sort of see fit and the background within blender can also be changed and turn on world background for example So we have a lot of options about how we display our sun path. Now uh, that's fine. That's kind of useful for sort of um, sort of typical kind of sun path visualize visualizations that you see. But we can also let's turn off hours for a minute. Turn off time. We can also, if we have cycles render engine selected up here we can render out this scene or this little mini cityscape I've got with illumination as delivered by the Sun in the position specified in our Sun path so I'll just turn off that rendering for a moment just scale down my Sun path over here for example I might scale it down some more um, make the base black again So this little sun here within my sun path, um, oh well I'll deal with that in a minute. So as I move this sun around, then I can get kind of real time shadowing and shading for that three dimensional scene. Now I can also, if I want to make the sun path stand out a little bit more clearly, instead of having just a diffuse material for the elements of the sun path, I can turn that to an emission material and that will just brighten up the look of that. Um, if we zoom in on the you can see that we've got alternating materials associated with these hour rings so I can turn that white element there if I want into a transparent material etc. The Sun itself if I just turn off the render view for a moment the Sun itself which is here that is a sphere, a mesh sphere to represent the sun position but there is actually also a sun lamp within that sphere so if I go this whole thing, this whole sun path is called S path mesh if I go in here and because all these elements are parented to this sun path mesh if I click within the sun path mesh I will see my sun and if I turn the sun 
material or sorry the sun color from just the general RGB color to a black body color and I can do the same with the actual sun mesh as well I can change that from a diffuse to an emission and from a color to a black body color then when I now go back into my rendered view my interactive rendered view we can see we get the coloration of the Sun as it goes down to towards the horizon it gets generally more orange And that's um, pretty much it. That's pretty much everything I have to cover, I think. Uh, yeah. So um, thanks for watching.